Hey everyone, Dan Takashi here. Today a big piece of news came out in the Nikkei newspaper here. It's written in Japanese, but basically the government is thinking of funding a new government-funded university endowment fund up to Jucho Wenkibo. This basically means roughly about a hundred billion dollars. And the point is to invest this into stocks, bonds, etc., and produce returns. And with these returns, help universities with their research funding. Extremely great idea, extremely lacking, extremely late, but very good idea. And today I want to talk to you about why I think plans like this are actually going to change this country. It'll ex be an extremely big moment. And I want to show you why this system has worked so well for the U.S. and why this is the reason why I believe one of the reasons why the U.S. is the strongest economic power in the world is because of its endowment funds and because of its education. And it's all linked to this type of investment returns. So I want to show you, talk, talk to you about this. Uh, speaking also from my um, personal background, also looking at the data. And then at the very end, give you my advice on what I think you can do today to change your future and to get involved in uh, the change that's going to happen in the next few decades or so in Japan. Those of you new to my channel, my name is Dan. I'm a former Wall Street guy, former hedge fund guy. Please see the below description area as to who I am. Just started YouTube this year. Would appreciate if you guys subscribe below uh, and also like uh, my channel if you enjoyed today's content. Today right now is December 4th. It is uh, 1.18 p.m. Uh, Japan time, meaning that it is probably 11.18 p.m. Still December 2nd, New York Eastern time. Let's first talk about this piece of news and then I'll talk about why this is so important here. This piece of news that came out, it's written in Japanese. I couldn't still find an English version because this just came out uh, today. But basically, the government is going to set up this $100 billion fund and they're going to invest it in stocks and bonds. And they're going to use a part of the income for it for uh, basically government infrastructure, government plans, etc. And also for university research. Now, What's very important about this is Japanese universities, uh, in terms of the top 10% of, uh, I guess, let's say, research papers written in the world, research quotations in the world, Japan had uh, quite a large share, about fourth place in the 1990s. And now, uh, big basically coming down to the latest uh, 2018 data, now it's come down all the way to about ninth place or so. So Japanese research, uh, in terms of the number of quotations, the number of research papers, etc., has been falling uh, relative to other global rankings. And the government is taking note of this, and they are going to try to fix this with the greatest, I think, tool in the world. It's investing. Investing will change everything because it's not like you're using money uh, to just have expenses, expenses. You're growing the money and using this growth. This is how you can propel education. Now, why is this so important and why am I talking about this in this video right now? So, guys, I was raised uh, in two different countries, in Japan and in the U.S. Uh, I've traveled to 61 countries. I just wrote a travel book. I've seen, I think I've seen a lot of different types of education systems. Uh, and everywhere I go in the world, I get the same response about, you know, uh, U.S. education. It's, it's amazing. It's the best. And the rankings are extremely high. Uh, we could see this with uh, almost any type of world university ranking that you can go to. Uh, U.S. education system is the best. Uh, and then, you know, look at Japan. The top university is Tokyo University. And it places about 36th place right now, according to world university rankings. World university rankings, this is a very, it's an independent organization. And they rate their universities, I think, in a very uh, detailed manner, according to teaching, research, citations, etc. So, what I want to say is that traveling the world, I am realizing more and more, more, why did the U.S. economy succeed so much? Why is the U.S. such a big powerhouse? A lot of it is due to, I think, education, having top education. And the reason why I think they have top education is obviously because they have one of the top teachers, one of the top systems. It's also just due to money they have more money. And why is the reason that they have more money? I think it's their endowment system. If you look at the top 100 largest endowment rankings by assets, almost all of them are in the US. And you can see these are the top universities have the biggest endowment funds. A lot of them are the Ivy League schools, Harvard, Stanford, Yale, Princeton, MIT, etc. Dumac, University of Notre Dame, Ohio State, New University of Northwestern. These are all very big, famous top schools in the U.S. 
when you get an endowment fund and when the fund starts producing returns, Harvard Endowment Fund produces on average about 7% a year. This allows the university to have a lot of extra money to hire the top professors in the world, get the top campuses in the world, have the best type of material in the world, uh, basically teaching top class education. And when you have top class education and also top class research, this is very important. The more research citations you have, the more fame the university gets, the more credibility your research gets, the better rankings it gets, and more people want to go to the school. It is a business. Universities are businesses. And the more you have that, the more economic power your country has. Because people from all around the world will come and they will do anything for their children. I've seen it all over the world now, living in Southeast Asia, I went to Africa, I went to Middle East, went to Europe. People will do anything and everything to try and get their children into the best schools in the world. And a lot of them are in the US. And this basically pushes a lot of people to aim to move to the US, especially hungry people who want their children to have the best education in the world to move to the US to try to get their kids into these schools. And this is what's pushing, I think, a lot of the economic cycle in the US. Japan has been lacking this. And a lot of the reason, I think, is just due to a lack of money and also a lack of financial experience and knowledge. We could see even in this Nikkei newspaper article, it's talking specifically talking about the Harvard Fund, the Endowment Fund, and how, uh, no, this is actually, this number is wrong. It's saying it's 45 billion. It's actually about 59 billion. But using this type of investment model, they're able to produce returns and Japanese universities don't have this. This is very important. If Japanese universities start to build endowment funds, start to invest it very wisely, they could start producing more money, hire more professors, get better equipment, have better material, uh, more and more research citations, increase the credibility, increase the research rankings of Japanese universities. And then you will see people start to move to Japan for their children and for their children's future good education. This will change the foundation of this country. And I think this is what this country needs deeply. Now, looking at all this, uh, you might be asking yourself, uh, what can you do uh, right now based on all this news? This is too big for me. Uh, you know, I don't know what you're talking about, Dan. Like uh, this, I agree with you, but what am I supposed to do right now? Uh, look, guys, I'll point out to you a very specific fact here. In Japan right now, the amount of, uh, let's say, types of endowment funds, pension funds, it's a lot smaller than the rest of the world here. Uh, I did a pension fund video uh, earlier, but basically uh, the number of assets that Japan has relative to its GDP is much, much smaller compared to the US. Uh, even with the national pension fund system, it's a lot lower. And I think, a, I mean, this is, look, the government has to fix this, of course, but what you can do is what you could start investing on your own and learning this great tool called investment to increase your money. And no, it's not about going to work. It's not about having a job. You can do that as well, but this is just financial literacy. You learn how to increase wealth without having to go to a job or have a boss. And you do this and this will change your life because you could do this from anywhere in the world. This is the reason why I started YouTube in Japan. This is the reason why I'm also doing it English channels and Japanese channels because Japan lacks financial literacy. It also lacks English literacy. As we all know, English is the most common language in the world, right? And we see this in the rankings there. 1.268 billion people speak English. That's almost 10 times or 20 times, I think, about 10 times the number that speak uh, Japanese here. So given that number, Japan has to increase its English literacy, increase its financial literacy. What you can do is I'm not trying to boost my videos and my channels, but continue to watch me every single day. Even if it's a lot of work, just watch when you can watch when you have time, just a few minutes a day. You don't have to watch all my videos. I'm doing a lot. I know uh, I'm not meaning for you guys to watch everything, but just watch a little bit, because if you watch my videos, you will learn how to increase your money without a job, without a boss, just with a laptop and just your mind and learning how to look at the markets. Not only that, but I do the English version so you can increase financial literacy plus English literacy at the same time. This is the key to what has been basically created the strongest economy in the world, the US. They have English speaking country, and it's also 
the best financial literacy in the world this has created their education system i'm trying to create this youtube channel as my education system to try to change this country please join me on this journey hopefully you can subscribe and spread the word about doing this so we can change this country together thanks so much guys for listening to my video if you enjoyed the content please press the like button below and please subscribe to my channel going forward have a great day guys